So you think that somebody who can't be responsible for things doesn't understand things? Well, maybe you'd better listen, and you probably should have been listening when people told you that it takes a special genetics for responsibilities to function on all weathers. It's dominant if it functions under all weather. It's recessive if even one of those weathers messes it up, and that's it. And having authoritarian control is the wrong way to make a person's ability to be responsible function. It really doesn't play out the situation seriously like like it's supposed to. More things that are easily missed end up happening that way. A situation ends up getting into an argument where one thing leads to another. It fails the fact that at least 96% of how you handle the situation actually regenerates the irresponsible issue rather than curing it. I mean, the way you think it's acceptable to go ahead and, and not rate somebody just because they forgot something, or maybe how you just think that they'll live without things just because they forgot things, or maybe docking points just because of it, there's only about a 4 or 5% chance you're ever going to get any good effect out of that. That's about how many people with recessive responsibility functioning, that's about the percent of those who have that situation who would be able to benefit from that. And the other 95 or 96 can't. It's impossible. If you can't take the time to, to see what's really wrong with a situation, well, then you can't teach. You should know that doing home notes every day in school is not the way to train responsibility. It does not work. That analogy is paste. It's fake. It's fictitious. It means nothing. It doesn't work the way people think it does. And, you know, you can't just non-rate somebody just because they didn't bring that back. I mean, as a teacher, you have ways of keeping track of things, and the way you do it is you send emails home to the parents and guardians. As of 1995, that is the law. Emails go home to parents on when it comes to home notes every day, and also by law, you have to call the parent or guardian if you're sending a discipline note notice home to them, and you must inform that student, just so they don't think like they can get away from what they've done wrong. You also need to keep in mind that you need to be careful how you use your point system. It's not going to do any good. Any coping skills program that thinks they have a right to make someone go hungry for an activity just because they forgot things intentionally, that's not okay. I mean, there are things that do get in the way of people's ability to be responsible. I mean, I know there's lots of different ways and everybody's is different, but that doesn't mean you have a right to use authority authoritarian control, and that's that. If you do, people get testy and either slams their hand on the table or cuss at you and you end up hurt. They actually have a court order to do that when you have authoritarian control against them over being responsible. Police and the prosecuting attorneys end up getting involved and there's little or no way to be convincing with them. You could end up getting a high audiology bill in the mail that you'll end up having to pay for that other person's year-long resolution plan to heal all that authoritarian control bulk. And that leads down into the hall of shame with this person's silhouette in black and white stripes, as you can see. Now, if we do take the time to realize that whatever affects people's ability to be responsible is part of their genetics and requires neural physiology to repair it, well, it plays out the situation seriously like it's supposed to. Less things that are easily missed end up happening that way. You don't have to miss things so much, in other words. And situations remain in the calm zone where they're not as likely to blow and get argumentative, and one thing never leads to another half as much. And it excels the probability of being able to make sure the people become responsible with their own situations. Nobody will have any need to be tested. Police and prosecuting attorneys don't have to get involved with little or no way that the person needs to be convincing with them. And then we don't have nearly as high an audiology bills to be able to, to deal with this anymore. And everybody gets a medal. But something I want you to understand and pay close attention to, you cannot at any time leave someone to suffer a loss just because they can't tell you things too easily. Whether or not they're capability of telling you has nothing to do with whether or not they're interested. If this doesn't stop, there's going to be some serious consequences. And as a matter of fact, we at Mathematician Society Protection Agency have a court order to fix up all the phone systems. We're going to restructure it, which means after you dial a number in order for the number to go through, you have to repeat after this saying, people who are hard at being responsible, who cannot tell people about things, do not have it in their genetics, and they require neurophysiology physiology to repair. And that's the thing you have to repeat in order to dial a number. Now, if by chance, after that has been said, and you say, they need to learn not to let those things happen in such a lame way, you will be grounded from using the phone at all for the day, which means they'll hang up and say, goodbye, we're done, you're grounded, and we won't be in service until tomorrow. And I'll tell you, that kind of grounding hurts an awful lot. And I can tell you, you have no way to fit yourself in. Too bad. You shouldn't have been so lame. And believe it or doubt it, it's within our say-so to do just that. We have constitutional permission 
to do that to people. In fact, that's just about all we have left that will stop people from using only if you let it for an answer. That response is no good. It means nothing. It's just making somebody look responsible for the way things work. And we gotta try to get you to see that. It's really bad. I mean, it's really ignorant to say only if you let it. And all we have to stop the ignorance is ground people from the phone for the day. And after a couple groundings, maybe then you'll understand. And I think after you said that you agree with the fact of the genetic predicaments behind being able to tell people things, being responsible, after you said that plenty of times, repeated it into the phone system like you were supposed to, you'll probably then understand and you'll be able to put yourself in the shoes of someone who's hard at doing things for a change. And I think that would be just great. Because then people will care about you if you have that problem in return.